hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this very cute uh cut and tie bunny cut and tie okay and what you're gonna need is uh you'll need one kind of yarn so i use the brown yarn and i use this kind of yarn it's the chunk yarn and i used a crochet hook which is 4.0 millimeters and also you're gonna need a pair of scissors and iron needle the big one and also uh, you will need a marker in my case i use uh, just a piece of yarn for my marker and that's all you're gonna need so if you want to make a much smaller bunny you just need to use a thinner yarn and a smaller crochet hook okay so let's get started Okay, so we're going to start to the head and we're going to start first with the magic ring and then we'll do six single crochets into the magic ring. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so then I'll pull my yarn to close the gap and I'll put my marker over here okay and now for the second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so I'll do two single crochet in the next stitch okay and I'll also increase in the next stitch Okay, so increase also in the next stitch okay and continue like that to the end okay so now in our third row uh, we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and then again repeat that so single crochet increase single crochet increase and repeat that all the way round Okay, so now in our fourth row, you're going to do two single crochet, then increase and repeat like that all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, single crochet two, and increase in the next stitch. Then repeat again, two single crochet. Then increase to single crochet and increase. Okay, and you're going to repeat that all the way round. Okay, so now in our fifth row, we are going to do three single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way round. For a total of 30 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three and increase then keep repeating that single crochet one two three and increase okay and you keep repeating that all the way to the end okay so now in our sixth row we are going to do four single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 36 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and increase Then repeat that again, so single crochet, one, two, three, 
one, two, three, four, and increase. Okay, so you're going to keep repeating that all the way round. Okay, so now in the seventh row, we are going to do five single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 42 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and increase. Then keep repeating that. So single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and increase. Okay, and then you keep repeating that all the way to the end. Okay, so now in our eighth row, uh, we're going to do six single crochets, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 48 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, and increase. And repeat that single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, and increase. Okay, so repeat that all the way round. Okay, so now after you're done with that, now for the next six rounds, which is from row nine until row 14, we're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 48 stitches in each row. Okay, so you're just going to continue with single crochet for the next six rounds. Okay, so you just do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, and you continue like that all the way around until you get to row 14. Okay, so I'll see you when you're done with row 14 so that we start the 15th row together. Okay, so after you're done with the 14th row, this is how our head should look like. So now we're going to start with the 15th row. And on the 15th row, we're going to start by doing 22 single crochets. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Okay, and then after that, we are going to increase three times. Okay, so we're going to increase in the next stitch. Okay, increase in the next stitch two and increase in the third stitch okay so the one that we're increasing here we're going to make uh, the face over here okay and then after that we have 23 stitches remaining and you're going to do single crochet all the way to the end so you'll have a total of 51 stitches Okay, so after that, now in the 16th row, uh, we're going again to start by doing 22 single crochets. So we'll do single crochet. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Okay, and then after that, we are going to increase in the next stitch. Okay, so we're going to do an increase and then do five single crochets. So single crochet, one, two, three, four, and five. And then again, we are going to increase in the next stitch. So increase and then after that we have 22 stitches remaining so you're going to do single crochet all the way to the end for a total of 53 stitches okay so now after that for the next two rows which is row 17 and row 18 we are going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 53 stitches in each row Okay, so I'll see you when you're done with the 18th row so that we start the 19th row together okay so after you're done with the 18th row this is how it should look like okay so now in our 19th row we are going to start again by doing 22 single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three four Five. okay continue until you have 22 single crochets okay so after that after the 22 single crochets we are going to decrease in the next uh, two stitches so we're going to go into the front loop of the next stitch and pull through and then go in the back loop of the next stitch pull through and then pull through all the three loops together okay so that's one decrease Okay, and then after that we are going to increase five times okay so we're going to increase in the next stitch one increase in the next stitch two increase again three increase Four time and increase again the last time so five times okay and then after that we are going to decrease here okay so we're going to do one decrease and then we have again 22 stitches remaining okay so you're going to do single crochet all the way to the end so we'll have a total of 51 stitches Okay, so now after that in our 20th row we are going to start by doing five single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and five and then after that we are going to do decrease then six single crochet and then we're going to repeat that two times okay so we're going to start by decreasing and then do six single crochet so single crochet one two three four five and six and then we're going to repeat that again one more time so decrease and then six 
single crochet so single crochet one two three four five and six okay and then after that we're going to decrease four times okay so we're going to decrease one time decrease again two times decrease the third time and decrease again last time so for a total of four times okay and then after that we're going to do three single crochets so single crochet one two and three okay and then we're going to repeat uh, the same thing we did on the previous uh, step so we're going to decrease and do six single crochet and repeat two times okay so we're going to decrease and do six single crochets so single crochet one two three four five six and decrease again do six single crochet one two three four five and six okay so and then after that we are going again to do single crochet one two three four five five single crochet so you do single crochet one two three four five okay and then we're going to decrease and do one single crochet at the end okay so now we have a total of 42 stitches okay so after we're done with that now in our next row which is our 21st row we're going to start by doing two single crochets so we do single crochet one and two and then we're going to decrease and do two single crochet i mean we're going to decrease and do five single crochets and then we're going to repeat that five times okay so we're going to start by decreasing and then we'll do single crochet one two three four five okay so that's one time do again the second time decrease five single crochet one two three four five so that's the second time and then to that time decrease five single crochet one two three four five fourth time decrease five single crochets one two three four five and one last time decrease 
five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so and then after you're done with that, we are going to decrease again over here. Okay, and then we're going to do one, two, two single crochet, one, two, okay, and then we're going to decrease again over here, do two single crochets, one, two, and decrease at the end. Okay, so and then after now you're done with that as you can see this is how it looks like so after we're done with that uh, in our 22nd row we're going to do four single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three Four and decrease and then you're going to keep repeating that so for single crochet one two three four and decrease okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so now after that in our 23rd row uh, we're going to do three single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three and decrease and then you're going to keep repeating that so three single crochet one two three and decrease okay and you're going to repeat that all the way to the end okay, so now after that in our 24th row which is the last row of the head we are going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we do single crochet one two and then decrease and keep repeating that so two single crochet and decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that all the way round okay so after that we are going to finish off so I'm going to go into the next stitch do a slip stitch Okay, and then I'm going to cut my yarn long enough for sewing okay and then when you're done please make sure you stuff your head fully okay and then the next I'll show you how to make the body okay so now for the body we are going to start with six single crochets into the magic ring so I already did that so now in our second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll increase in the first stitch okay so increase in the next one too okay increase Okay, and also increase in the remaining three stitches okay so now in our third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and repeat that single crochet increase okay so keep repeating that all the way 
round okay so now in our fourth row we are going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do a single crochet one two then increase in the next stitch and repeat that again two single crochet and increase okay and continue with the same pattern all the way round okay so now in our fifth row we're going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three and increase in the next stitch then repeat again single crochet one two three and increase okay and you're going to repeat that all the way round okay so now in our sixth row we are going to do four single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 36 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and increase and keep repeating that single crochet one two three four and increase okay and you keep repeating that all the way round okay so after that now in our seventh round we are going to start by doing 15 single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 13 14 and 15 okay and then after that we are going to increase in the next stitch so we're going to do an increase and then we'll do single crochet in the next stitch and increase in the next Okay, then do single crochet in the next stitch and increase in the next okay so after that we have 16 stitches remaining and you do single crochet all the way to the end for a total of 39 stitches okay so after you're done with that now for the next five rounds which is from row 8 to row 12 we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 39 stitches in each row okay so i'll see you when you're done with the 12th row so that you start the 13th row together okay so after that after the 12th row this is how it should look like so now in our 13th row we're going to start we're going to start decreasing and we're going to do four single crochet then decrease and repeat six times and then after that you'll have three stitches left here at the end and in those stitches we are going to do single crochet so we're going to have a total of uh, 33 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then decrease and then we are going to repeat that again five more times single crochet one two three four and decrease okay so keep repeating that until you have three stitches left here at the end 
Okay, so in the last three stitches, we are going to do single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so now after that, in our 14th row, we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 33 stitches. Okay, so you're going to continue and do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet and continue all the way to the end so you'll have a total of 33 stitches okay so after that now in our 15th row we are going to start by doing 13 single crochets so we do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen and then we are going to decrease three times so we're going to decrease one time decrease the second time and decrease the third time okay so after that you have 14 stitches remaining so you'll do single crochet to the end and we'll have a total of 30 stitches okay so now on the 16th row we are going to do uh, three single crochet then decrease and repeat six times all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three and decrease and then we are going to keep repeating that so three single crochets and decrease okay and then you repeat that all the way round okay so now after we're done with that in the next three rows which is from row 17 until row 19 we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of uh, 24 stitches in each row okay so do single crochets for the next three rows and i'll see when you're done with the 19th row so that we do the 20th row together Okay, so after the 19th row, this is how it should look like. So now in our 20th row, we are going to do two single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So we're going to do two single crochet and decrease. And then keep repeating that, two single crochet and then decrease okay and you're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end okay so now in our 21st row which is our last row of the body we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we do single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet and continue all the way to the end okay so after you get to the end now we're going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch and then we're going to cut off the yarn and leave long enough for sewing and that's it we have your body and then after that you're going to stuff your body fully uh, the protruding part is the little stomach so it's gonna be the front part so we're going to attach it like that as you can see i already stuffed my head you can see the protruding part also is going to be the front part of the face okay so now we are going to start making the arms 